Hello, my name is Pastor Matt Day. I am the pastor of St. John's Lutheran Church. I want to uh, just say to everyone who is watching this that um, we are praying for you, that um, we are constantly remembering our community and all those who have been affected by COVID-19 in our prayers. We are going to attempt to do outdoor worship and we want to make this video to let you know what to expect when you come to worship. Um, we are going to be doing it in our parking lot. These cars won't be here on Sunday morning. We're actually going to situate as many people as we can back by that tree right over here in a nice shaded area. Uh, and we will be uh, distancing everyone six feet apart. When you come in, you're going to stop here at the front. There will be an usher or two here. They will take your name and phone number, hand you a bulletin, and then an usher will seat you. If you forget a mask, or if you do not have your own mask to wear, you do not have to worry. We have lots and lots of extra masks here. We have both reusable, and we have also the surgical blue masks that are throwaways um, that you can um, take if you need one. Do not worry about returning it to us. They are yours to keep. They were made by some gracious donors at our church. They won't be as stylish as my pastor's mask, but they're still pretty cool. And we thank all of our mask sewers for their hard work in making this possible. If you need to park in our parking lot because of a disability or trouble walking, we will have some extra spaces, but we ask that if, if you can at all possible, park on the street or park down at the parking lot by the Apollo Theater. Uh, there will be plenty of parking on the street on Sunday morning, so uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find a parking spot. But if you do need to get in here because of uh, disabilities or problems with walking, we have plenty of space for you to choose from. We understand that some of you all might not have a camping chair or you might forget it at home. Don't worry. We have extra chairs here. We also have a bunch of cold water because we know it's not going to be the coolest temperature since we are doing this in July and August. And um, probably continuing this for a while. So we'll have extra cold water here. We ask you though, if you can bring your own chair from home to help us save on our cleaning supplies because every chair we use, we will be having to clean and that takes cleaning supplies that are still hard to find. So please bring your own chair if you can. If you can or if you forget, don't worry. We have lots of chairs and cold water. On Sunday morning, an usher is going to help seat you and your family in an appropriate location that is six feet apart from your closest neighbor. When worship is done, I will come over and uh, dismiss everyone to make sure we leave in a fairly safe and orderly manner. Our masking policy is this. If you are singing, speaking, or moving, we ask that you put on a mask. That means if you are sitting here listening to the sermon on Sunday morning, you may take off your mask if you so choose. We ask that, that um, if you get up to move at any time that you wear a mask, especially when social distancing might be very hard. If you enter a building at any time to use the restroom or to even cool off for a few minutes, we ask that you wear a mask as well. Uh, masking can save lives and um, we are called as Christians to love our neighbors. So we ask that you take the time to wear a mask if you're speaking, singing, or moving. Every week for our outdoor worship, we will be having the Eucharist celebrated and distributed amongst those who attend. We feel it is important that we distribute the body of Christ to whoever is there and needs it. In case in the fall we are sent on another lockdown, we want to get everybody the spiritual nourishment that they, that they can receive from the Eucharist. If you are still worried about attending public worship or you're not able to attend public worship, do not worry, we will bring you communion. I will come out to your home and distribute communion on the front porch for you and your family while maintaining all the social distance protocols to keep you and your family and myself safe as well. For community distribution, we're gonna have you all stay seated in your seat. I will come to you and distribute communion at this time, we're, we're, we'll not be distributing the wine. There is just, it's a very hard way to keep it sanitary. And so at this time, it is best to just suspend the use of uh, distributing the wine. This does not mean that you do not receive the same benefits as receiving both the, bot, the bread and the wine. Uh, Christ's presence is made fully known in both the bread and the wine. So it is, it is much safer 
to do it this way as well, and it's also a little bit faster. Our liturgy on Sunday will not have any hymns. Uh, there will be some special music before and after the service, um, but we have cut down the liturgy to be about 30 minutes long um, to decrease our rate of exposure to the um, possibility of the virus and to also accommodate a little bit of the hotter temperatures that, are, that we'll be dealing with here. This time of worship and isolation has taught us many things about what it means to be church. Church doesn't just happen at our building. Church can happen anywhere where the saints gather together. So if you do not feel comfortable attending worship in person, that is okay. You may still participate online through our virtual portals, through Facebook Live, or over the phone. We understand completely that some people are just not ready, and that is okay come when you are. We'll always be here. The church hasn't closed these past few months, and we'll stay open until Jesus returns. You all stay safe, wear your mask, and we will see you Sunday.